Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing a paid review. This is a paid review. Who is this paid review for? This is for Rob. And this is paid review 21QA42. Quick, quick, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Rolex Submariner date. This is the new 41 mil. Okay, here we go. Hi, Arts. Rob here from the UK. I'm 65 and retired. You did a review for me about 18 months ago, and I thought it was time for another. I would also like to ask the pontiff about vintage Hoyas. Vintage Hoyas. What's the deal? Are they, are we talking respect or indifference? I recently added a 1969 Hoya Carrera, uh, Hoya Carrera, sorry, Hoya Camaro 7743N to the collection. Has the 36.7mm cushion case and Valju 7730 movement. Uh, would you say cool thoroughbred or a bit of a donkey? The rest of the collection consists of a Rolex 16700 Pepsi, a Grand Seiko Spring Drive GMT Blizzard Dial, and two vintage JLCs. Well, thank you indeed there. That is a, uh, it's great to hear from you and thank you for uh, sending me a request for a new review here. So. You're asking me the question, what do I think? Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da -da wow, what can I say? Indeed, what can I say? And uh, geez, you've had a bit of a change just looking at the old collection. Yes, we've had a bit of a, a re sync there, haven't we? Okay, so let's firstly address the elephant in the room. Hoya, what do I think? What do I think of Hoya themselves there? And I got to tell you, Hoya and Tag Hoya, they're two different animals. Hoya, I mean, in the day, Hoya was a very, very advanced uh, company. They were involved in chronograph development. And they... Um, I gotta tell you, vintage, you know, I, I don't actually hate Tag Hoyer. Let's just clarify that misperception uh, there. I, I, at one stage, you know, I, I did, I kind of didn't really like him. But I gotta be totally honest with you, I don't hate him. I think for many people, they're a great entry into the hobby. Now, with that said, what about Hoyer? So, Hoyer became Tag Hoyer in the 80s when, because Hoyer went broke and then Tag Hoyer was the the new company that came out and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Now, I've got to tell you, Hoyer itself, their pieces, I don't hate Tag Hoyer, but I think there is a very distinct <clears throat> difference between Hoya and Tag Hoya. And I gotta tell you, vintage Hoya pieces, thumbs up, very, very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. And I would even say some of the modern Tag Hoya has actually re released, reissued some classic Hoyas. For example, I had the Monaco. Caliber 11, the Steve McQueen Caliber 11. That was a reissue. They, Hoy, Tag Hoyer has re-released them. And uh, i got to be honest with you. I think they are very, very worthy. Now, let just, let's just hang on one moment there. I want to pull out a book from my bookshelf. Just hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. See, we do these things live, live. I went into Tag Heuer a number of years ago, 
and they gave me this beautiful catalog here this is a, a really thick book and this was from the the Phillips auction uh, from the the crossweight and Gavin collection if you have a look at some of the vintage Hoyas that were were out there look at this this is just to drool over the Ortavia man they had um, Carrera this book is this catalog is actually uh, how do I put it? This catalog is absolutely amazing. They gave this book to me, so I, I want to say thank you to, uh, to to Tag Hoyer for doing that. Look, I got to tell you, vintage Hoyers, very, 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 very collectible, very, very valuable, very valuable indeed. Uh, highly sought after, highly collectible. It's like vintage Rolex. Uh, look, I, 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 I honestly would say to you, anyone who, um, if you're collecting vintage, vintage Hoyas, unfortunately, they're no longer really cheap. You actually pay a lot of money for them. They are considerably cheaper than, say, comparable Rolex, but. I've got to tell you, they are rising in collectability and uh, popularity. Tag Hoyer has really, um, they've, they've helped things by relaunching, reissuing some of the vintage Hoyers of the past. So, my own opinion, what, what do I think of uh, vintage Hoyers? Let's have a look at this. So, so you've got a 1969 Hoya Camaro with the 7743 uh, movement in it it's gorgeous cushion case two reg I love two reg chronos uh, that there that, uh, that'd be a that'd be a manual wind manual wind uh, I love it it's beautiful that's a really beautiful um, that's a really, really beautiful piece there. I, I, I honestly, I, I, I don't think you could honestly um, say anything against that at all. That's a magnificent, magnificent piece. And you're, you're pretty, pretty damn lucky to have uh, acquired that for your collection. So. I, I, I would certainly say to you, um, Hoyers, themselves, vintage Hoyers, they're, they're, they're really cool there. I was just having a quick look here as I'm doing this now to see if they didn't really have a, did they have a, no, they, they didn't, I, I'm just trying to see if they had one in this catalogue here, but that's uh, the Camaro, um, it's gorgeous. How, how could you not love that? That's absolutely, absolutely positively gorgeous. So, um, yeah, that's a great, that's a great addition to the collection. Um, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. They're, 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 they're pretty cool there. So, with that said, let's have a bit of a talk about your collection as a whole. So, so big thumbs up, vintage Hoyer, highly collectible, very valuable. What a great addition there now uh, to your collection then so we've got the vintage Hoya Camaro we've got a Rolex look Rolex is always cool you know this Rolex is always we've got a Rolex 16700 that's a GMT master one sapphire beautiful you've got a Seiko wow this the collection has really changed I got a photo here from 19. 2019 so it's it's changed a lot uh, yeah yeah okay spring drive GMT beautiful beautiful the blizzard dial beautiful and two vintage you didn't tell me are they the same vintage JLC's from before I don't know but look I, I gotta say man that's you do need a Rolex. I think Rolex is a great contender, especially a Pepsi. Pepsi is a great 
great piece itself there to have. I don't have a problem with Pepsis. Um, no problems at all, that's great. Um, I don't have a problem with any of that. I think it's a nice collection there. So you've got two vintage JLCs. JLC's a great brand. You've got a, uh, a spring Grand Seiko Spring Drive GMT, beautiful. Pepsi, Pepsi 16700, yes, and a, and a Hoya. Wow, you know, that, that gives you some really good spread. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have a problem with that at all. That's a great collection, well thought out. It's nice to have some vintage with some more modern, classic, contemporary pieces. Uh, that's the way to go. So I would say, Rob, you're certainly on the way there. Yeah, the Hoyas, unfortunately getting expensive. Mmm, getting expensive. So I, I don't have a problem with that at all. I think that's a, a great way to go there. Uh, yeah, so, so, so you've really got some good stuff. It's coming, coming on there. Rolex, every man's got to have a Rolex. You've got to have a Rolex. You've got a classic GMT Master. That's cool. You've got a Hoya, Camaro, Grand Seiko. Uh, and you've also got this some vintage, can't go wrong with that. How could you really go wrong with that? It's a nice collection. Uh, last time you had an early 60s JLC Memovox, that's right, and a military, 1941 JLC military style. That's what you had there, yes, yes. So definitely way to go, definitely way to go there. So. Um, I might put that picture in with the, the collection there. So, so I I think you've really um, you've really expanded the collection out. What would I add next? There? Well, look, you've 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 got the the Hoya as your chronograph. You've got a a Pepsi GMT Rolex. You've got a spring. You might you like the GMTs. Maybe it'd be nice to get a Explorer 2. What do you reckon? 40 mil Explorer 2. That'd be a beautiful piece to have in the collection. Okay, guys. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Put some comments below. Rob, keep going with Vintage Hoyas any day of the week. Guys, paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Without the paid reviews, I can't survive. Please get a paid review done. It really helps me. I, at running a niche channel, very hard to get the numbers, very hard to um, survive. So if you can get a paid review done, 50 US dollars, details down below. Tell me what you think and I will see you in the next one. Hi guys, Archie Luxury and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches david sw david sw david sw go to david sw.com he is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the united states of america david sw david sw david sw Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys. Amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.